Did you bug my house? Yeah. Besides, you basically told me to. I told you to? You strongly hinted that I should. I want those bugs out of my house today. I want them out now. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be completely disabling and removing the microphone from your Roku remote. I have the Roku 4K streaming stick, but it should be just about the same for most Roku remotes. Or the ones with the microphones, at least. I decided to make this video because if you search how to do this on Google, you may come across some Reddit posts inquiring the same thing. Those posts have a bunch of whiny-ass Redditors arguing that this is unnecessary and then trailing off into other arguments. The main argument I saw was, oh, well, you already have a smartphone with a microphone in it. Like that is somehow a winning argument. I read the terms and conditions on the smart TV that I just got, and it stated that it could record and hold onto my social security number. What the hell is that nonsense? It'd have to be for me saying it out loud, because why else would they get that? That's why I bought the Roku, and why I want to obliterate the microphone. Don't trust your government, kids. Anyway, back to the video. Before we get into this, I just want to say that you are going to mess up the remote housing slightly. I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. A few dings, but worth it to secure some privacy. Another thing to note is that you could totally destroy and ruin your remote. Don't blame me if you don't have gentle fingers and you completely trash your remote. Please proceed at your own risk and understand that you are avoiding any warranty you may have on the remote. The good thing is, is you can order another remote for these if you end up totally destroying it. I have done this a few times successfully and I had no clue what I was doing. So you can do it too. Probably. Alright, so get yourself a Roku and let's tear this remote down. See this hole here? This is the microphone hole. We will bring that up later. Under that hole is where the mic is. So let's remove the batteries and the battery cover. Now all you need to do is pry this bad boy open. I bought a brand new 4K stick just so I could show you how I did this. So I already know what to do because I did it on my previous one. You can use some pry tools if you have them. I tried with a phone repair kit, but it wasn't working for me. The thing that worked for me was one of these super small screwdrivers. Basically, you just cram it in there and try to get a few of these tabs to pop away. If you take your time, it's gonna work out better than if you rush it. Son of a whore. You will see it starting to give away like this. Ugh. See those tabs? That's what we're looking to pop up. Might need to take a screwdriver. Put that in there so you can save your spot. Just uh, work your way around slowly and delicately. And then you can kind of work your way around. I found that the base where the battery cover is pried open is a bit easier. Try not to break away these tabs like this right here. See like that. Just make sure and work your way around. Take your time. It'll still snap together, but the less damage you do, the better. Once you have it about halfway done, you can ditch the screwdriver and just apply a bit of force to get the whole thing undone. Ah. Voila. That might happen. All right, so essentially there's your remote. We don't need that top piece. So you want to remove the buttons and the button buttons. We don't need this so you have just this PCB board on the plastic base. Pry the PCB board away from the base like this. Sort of wiggle it away. It's so these positive right. terminals for the battery slots that are holding it in there. These uh, positive terminals, that's what's holding the PCB board into the controller. So you can just kind of Delicately pry that out, and voila. Here's your PCB board. All right, so surprisingly, that was the hardest part. So right here, there's the microphone. Let's see, it just sits right over that like that. This is what you want. Let's get that wiretap out of there. So obviously, if you remove this, you are sacrificing any voice search or voice command options. It's pretty self-evident, but just wanted to double clarify. I did see some suggestions about covering the microphone itself or even the hole on the remote with some hot glue or something similar. 
then you can just remove it when you're done and you want to restore the functionality of the microphone. But I didn't care for that. I wanted it completely gone. The hot melt would muffle or completely block out the sound and leave you with the option to reverse your tampering. So consider that if you're inclined, but we are just moving forward with the destruction of it. So let's get into that. Best method I found was this. Just get yourself a pair of vice grips or even regular pliers. Grab a hold of that little bastard and just break it off. I tried heating it up and desoldering it, but this was easier and faster. Ta-da! There you go. That's the little FBI antenna right there. Off to the garbage. I'm a little more paranoid than most, so I tried to melt the connector off and desolder it, but I didn't want to risk damaging the remote. It, it should be that simple. I mean, I'll take this and I'll kind of destroy it up a little. So I am in no way condoning being extra paranoid, but if you are a little extra paranoid, you can go ahead and put some hot glue over the top of this, or I'm just going to cover it with a big old dollop of solder. And there we go. Most likely, that was completely useless and pointless. Just want to cover it up, make sure it's rendered and operable, and Roku can't record my conversations and send them to the government. Now this is going to be for a little more on the fringe paranoid side, but I thought it was kind of fun. So in an effort to be extra safe, I just covered that sucker up with a little bit of solder. Or you could even use hot glue, whatever. This is definitely overkill, but might as well be a little throw since we already have it already torn apart. So after that, you're all set. You've successfully removed the microphone from your Roku remote. Let's go ahead and reassemble it and test it out. Just get these positive terminals back in the remote. And then you can seat your PCB board like this. And then put on your button bottoms. And then your buttons and then just snap your remote back together. Notice here that there's some scuffing and scratches from prying, but it's not too noticeable, and you could always sand it down a little bit if you were heavy-handed with it. So after you snap this puppy back together, you're good to go. See this green light? That's a sign that you didn't fry your remote. Yay! Get this paired and all set up. Don't panic if the remote won't pair immediately, like it did for me on my first go. The remote and Roku stick is just stupid. Fiddle with unpairing the stick and replacing the batteries and trying again. Eventually you should get it. That has nothing to do with us disassembling the remote. That's just the stupid software that's on it. You'll see a ton of people having issues getting it to pair without them of messing with the insides. Eventually you should get it. All right, here's the test. You can see when I hold the mic button, after a second or two, it goes immediately to thinking. That is what you want to see. Feel free to verbally abuse the remote and the software and make sure that it isn't picking anything up. But we Open know that it isn't because we destroyed it and physically removed it. Congratulations, you successfully voided the warranty for the Star remote Wars. and secured a small bit of privacy. I am proud of you. We paid for this and we can do what we want with it. Tom Cruise. That's it my friends, hope the video was helpful. Thanks for coming to the channel and checking this video out. Be sure to get subscribed if you want to see more helpful videos. I typically do video game tutorials, but this IRO one was meant to be helpful and Batman. I had fun tinkering with it. Throw a like up on this if it helped you out. Hope to see you come back. Thanks again my friends and we'll see you in the next one. Batman.